on me camera don't you do that I swear if I take like more than two seconds <laughs> to start recording this thing shuts off on me Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another horror movie review. We are like, oh we're close. We're almost halfway through 31 days of horror and boy do I look like we are. <laughs> Man I'm tired today. Okay so today we're going to be talking about The Devil's Backbone directed by Guillermo. I have not had enough coffee to say his name right now. Guillermo del Toro. I know who it is. His name is just very difficult when I'm super tired. Um, <laughs> so The Devil's Backbone is a lot. Oh my, this is gonna be a great, this is gonna be a great video. I might just have to have like a little blooper reel at the end at this point. <sighs> the Devil's Backbone is about a young boy, Carlos, who gets sent to like a, is it like a school? Yeah, it's like a boys, a boys school slash orphanage um, for, I guess, for boys whose parents or his whose fathers are like have were killed in the Spanish Civil War. Gosh, Civil War, Spanish Civil War, where <laughs> um, they've been orphaned. And did I say that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that's where he is, and. Of course when he gets there he notices the creepy things that have been happening and so he works to uncover the dark secret of the orphanage. I'll start with what I liked about the movie. Um, it was it was pretty creepy. Um, I wouldn't say it's like actually scary. Um, it's more like it's like a horror slash like murder mystery kind of because that's basically what Carlos is trying to figure out. He's trying to uncover who killed this boy. Hold on, what's his name? What's his name in the movie? It's, 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 it's. No, not Jaime. Santi? Is that his name? Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure before I went through the entire video saying the wrong name. Um, right, so they're trying to uncover what happened to Santi. So we get to see him in ghost form, which is very cool. I love the way Guillermo del Toro does kind of like these ghostly images. They're very, I feel like they're quite unique in the way that they're shown. This one, it kind of, shoo, um, it reminded me a little bit of um, Crimson Peak. I feel like Crimson Peak was kind of like an evolution from this. Um, they're both kind of similar in that they, they're very like floaty, like, you know, like they don't ever really touch the ground. They might touch the ground, but like, there's always a lot, like there's a lot of movement. Like they're like, if they have long hair, it's flowing or their clothes are moving. You know what I mean? They're very like, Ooh, ghost-like. Um, it's almost like, <laughs> it's like, like your standard ghost, but then, you know, with CGI, so it looks cool. Um, and they, I won't give anything away, but I'll give you a tiny little hint. Um, the way, excuse you, dog. The way Santi dies in the movie, um, is kind of hinted at in the way he appears kind of that's that's all i'll say there are clues in <laughs> how he appears so if you haven't seen this and you go watch it just pay attention to santi and you'll get it um <laughs> so i did like that i liked how there was kind of like the way he like appeared to carlos it was related to how he died like kind of like i guess like in purgatory like it reminded me of um, Beetlejuice, um, you know, like all the dead people, like they look like, you know, what they look like in the afterlife is like how they died, you know, I don't know. I haven't had enough coffee, I feel like I'm not <laughs> making any sense. Um, 
so I liked I liked the ghosts I liked the creepiness wasn't scary it, it had more like drama and mystery elements to it as well um things I didn't like I don't think I can say that there was anything like I really didn't like I guess maybe I could say like the fact that it did have those mystery and drama elements to it when I thought it was more of a horror movie so I get it was more just like what I didn't like was like my expectation was different than what the movie was which isn't necessarily the mo like the movie's fault that's not the movie's fault at all um, other than that there's no re like for me there's no real like major thing that kind of sticks out it is quite tragic there is a lot of death in this movie too so I don't know that's not a bad thing though I actually quite liked that <laughs> I like that it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows at the end um I need more coffee do you hear that I hope that picks up. <laughs> I hope that picks up on the camera. This video is a mess. Overall, I did enjoy The Devil's Backbone. Might give it another watch or two, I think. There's like, there's like the bad version of I watched it and I'm not gonna watch it again. And there's like the not so bad version of I watched it and I'm not gonna watch it again. Um, <laughs> like it wasn't bad, but it just wasn't my cup of tea. So I might not watch it again. Um, I'm kind of just like slightly above that. I might watch it one or two more times. Um, I gotta say, not my favorite from this director. I will say that. Um, not my favorite by uh, Del Toro. So if you've seen The Devil's Backbone, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. Uh, also let me know what your favorite Guillermo Del Toro movie is. And until tomorrow, stay strange. Bye. <laughs>